In this presentation, we will learn how to insert a node at the end of the doubly linked list. So let's get started. Let us assume this is the initial state of the doubly linked list. I took this linked list from the previous lecture. We have a head pointer pointing to the first node of this list. Our target is to add this node at the end of this list. Okay, so this particular node I want to add at the end of this particular list. For this purpose, the step one is to traverse the list. Okay, it is important to traverse the list so that we can reach the end node of this list and then we can update the next part of this node and pref part of this node. For this purpose, I will keep one pointer TP which will initially point to the first node of this linked list. Later, it will point to the last node of this list. We can do this by adding this piece of code. While TP next not equal to null, TP equal to TP next. This is very simple. Here, we are checking this condition. TP next not equal to null. When TP next becomes null, we'll stop our pointer. As simple as that. Right now, you can see TP next is not null. So we can move our pointer towards right. And then after that, we can check TP next is null. So we'll get outside of this while loop. This is what we want, right? So TP is now pointing to this particular node. After this step, of course, we need to attach a new node to the end node of the list. And that's what we are doing here. We'll first update the next part of this node so that it can point to this particular node. Right? For this purpose, we'll add this line of code that is TP next equal to temp. It will put this particular address that is 3000 over here. And that's what we want. After this, we will add this line of code that is temp prev equal to TP so that we can update the prev part of this node. And now it is pointing to this particular node. And that's it. And this is how the resultant linked list looks like. Right? We have a head pointer pointing to the first node and a new node has been added at the end of this list. This is the complete program and in this main function, these four lines of codes has been taken from the previous lecture. Add to empty function helps us in adding this particular node. Add at beg function helps us in adding this particular node. These four lines of codes has been added from the previous lecture and I'm assuming here that these functions are already available to us. Now after this, we'll call this particular function that is add at end function. And to this function, I'm passing head as well as the value. And this is how add at end function looks like. This particular function has a head pointer and a variable data. Head pointer will receive the address of the first node of this linked list and data variable will receive the value 9. Now, with the help of these lines of code, we would be able to create a new node, which is the node we want to add at the end of this linked list. And this is how the node looks like. And we have a temp pointer pointing to this particular node. And we also have a TP pointer. First, using this line of code, we would be able to store this address within TP. Now, this pointer is also pointing to this node. And using this piece of code, we would be able to update our TP so that it can point to the last node of this list. Finally, we will update the next part of this node so that it can point to this particular node. And then we will update the prev part of this node so that it can point to this particular node. As simple as that. Finally, we will return head back to the main function. And here, this piece of code will help us in printing all the values of this particular linked list. So the output of this program is 34, 45 and 9. Now let me show the complete code in code blocks. You can see over here, I have taken these functions add to empty and add at beg from the previous lecture. I have added this new function to this program that is add at end. And in the main function, this line of code has been added that is head equal to add at end, which will add the node at the end of the linked list, which has already been created using these two functions. Now, let me just execute this code. This is the result so obtained that is 34, 45, 9. And this is the required result, right? Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.